Hey guys, my name is Maria Toika and today I'm gonna show you how to create this rough edges effect for your text or an image in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we do is creating a new document. You can just copy the same settings as mine. It's just a standard A4 format. Create, then I'm gonna type my text make it a little bit bigger so you will see okay so the first way i'm gonna do it through displacement map to prepare for this one we need to create a displacement map file the easiest thing to do that is we just go into unsplash.com and we're gonna search for a grunge texture and we're going to choose any grunge texture that we can find here for example this one and we just need to download it after we downloaded it we just opened this file in adobe photoshop and then we're gonna choose file save as and the format should be photoshop and um, i'm gonna name it grunge texture save and we close this document and we come back to our document with our text then we're gonna click on filter distort displays and you can choose either to convert it to smart object or rasterize but just so you know if you convert it to smart object you will be able to edit it later on so that's what i choose i'm going to leave the settings like they are eight and eight because i'm pretty happy with these numbers okay and then you need to choose the file with your displacement map this is the file that we just created in bsd format grunge texture open and here we are, that's our grunge effect. If you wanna make it a bit softer, uh, you can ch change the numbers here, from eight to five, for example. Okay, again, which is the same displacement map and you see the effect is not as strong as the first time. Okay, that was the first way. The second way, what we're gonna do is, again, we just typed our text and we're gonna duplicate the background layer, considering that it is white by default. To duplicate it, we just need to press Command and J and then we select this layer, it's already selected, and our text layer together and we're gonna merge them by clicking Command and E. Then we're going to Filter, Filter Gallery, and we, we choose the filter called splatter. I'm pretty happy with these numbers 15 and 7 and you can see the effect. Okay, that was the second way. You can see that the effect is a bit different from the first one. And the third way. The third way is the quickest and the easiest. We're just going to filter, distort, and ripple and here we can choose any size of this rough edges that we want we can see the preview and we can change the amount of this kind of ripple effect for me 300 is quite a good number or i can make it 350 maybe to make it a bit stronger and small size then i click ok and that's the effect we achieved again it's a bit different from the second one and different from the first one so you can choose which one you like the most and let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching and see you next time